Yo guys, what up? It has been a while, hasn't it, in terms of the video uploads? Well, if you've been in this Discord server, you kind of got an idea of um what's been going on, but let me just basically lay out for you. Some of you might remember a old update video I put out about one or two months now, saying basically this would be my final run at doing a uh, content creation in general. It's my last experiment. If it doesn't work, I'm basically done because I need to value my time better, basically, and not just waste my time endlessly doing something that's never going to actually work long term because I've been doing this since like 2017 so uh yeah in the last video I basically was hovering around the idea around basically to really get a community nowadays especially in the gaming space in 2024 I feel as if like you've got to do that one same thing that people come back for time and time again and like a catalyst that people like come to your channel and, and what they expect to see kind of thing I've seen multiple different channels start up something new in the meantime since that video went out which i probably eaten out by the way um and yeah no every every channel that i see that's starting out that's uh focusing on the one same thing over and over it seems to be able to like grow at a very consistent rate so it just, it just seems very obvious to me like what what i should be doing from here and out you know so some of you already know but i'm gonna be switching this channel to a pokemon only channel for the most part let me explain what i mean by that um so Video uploads, yeah, pretty much Pokemon only. But that means I can't just be restricted to like gameplay and stuff now. It also means I can do stuff like, um, you know, video game music quizzes, trivia. It doesn't have to be specifically something like a playthrough or a Nuzlocke. It can be anything related to the Pokemon series in general. So there is quite a big can of worms open that I can do basically anything on that. When I say I'm not going to do only everything Pokemon wise, basically, um, I've got a backlog of games I want to get through and I'm going to be streaming a few of them on the channel. Eventually when I get through that backlog though, I'm going to go ahead and get to a point where it's like um, I can start doing more like Pokemon series on the live streams as well, but I need to take things one step at a time, take it slowly and just go from there. So let me talk a little bit uh, about the stream stuff, right? So if I open up the file that I've got of games I'm planning to do and stuff that's in my backlog, right? I have to start Super Mario RPG, the, the recent remake of that, it just came out recently. Uh, this year? Yeah, I think it was this year. Uh, Xenoblade 3 Future Redeemed playthrough, which I'm going to do at some point, story DLC expansion kind of thing. Uh, Sonic Superstars, that stream playthrough is in progress and I plan to finish that with the next stream because I've only got two zones left, it's not long at all. Possibly doing Sonic Frontier at some point, but I might uh, hang off on that and play it on my own time. Then on then the games I've still to buy are Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Paper Mario 1000 Year Door Remake, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Remake, um, and these and these two games that are still cut to come out this year, which is Astro Ball for the PS5 in September 6th, and Legend of Zelda Echo the Wisdom in late September of this year as well as when this video's been uploaded. So you can tell it's quite a few games I want to do in a, a stream playthrough. Like I said, I'm going to be getting through these stream playthroughs, even though I'm doing a Pokemon channel, but eventually when I do get through all of it and I've got a lot more time I'm not having to catch up with so much stuff, I would like to go and like do mostly Pokemon stuff on the streams too. However, I'm not going to go fully 100% all into like, you know, Pokemon stuff. I do want to do a couple of bits of variety here and there, but they'll be restricted for the live streams only. Um, let me know what you guys think about that, but I think that like if I'm gonna get away with doing a little bit, a tiny bit of like extra stuff here and there, extra games, it's gonna to have to be in the live stream. I wanna keep the video specifically all for the main thing I'm trying to do pushing forward, you know. Video wise, um, for those who have watched the Platinum Trophy videos I was doing prior to this change, uh, I wanna like just say first and foremost, uh, don't expect as heavy edits to uh, the videos as I was doing on the videos because that's the reason they were taking so long to come out, like one to two months per video. I'm going to be, my first series on the channel is going to be a Pokemon Platinum traditional randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, not, not, not with anybody, just me, myself, you know, not so or nothing like that. So I'm just going to be doing a regular randomizer Nuzlocke and that's going to be the first series going forward. The video lengths are going to start being a little bit shorter and I'm going to start like cutting down the edits to just basically very minimum basic edits, just cut and drag basically. And essentially what that will let me do, because I'm having to do less cuts and edits and all that stuff, it should allow me to get the videos out at a faster pace. Alright. I'm thinking between anywhere between like 15 to 20 minute episodes. And I'm going to really try to cut out a lot of filler and just make it jam packed and just real all action based stuff that happens in the 15 to 20 minute video. Like no filler, just get straight to the point. 
no wasting time kind of thing right when i do get around to uploading the series i would like to maybe upload three videos a week i'm not going to give you guys specific days because things could pop up that delays the videos just expect three videos a week of the platinum randomizer not slot kind of thing i would like to be able to do monday wednesday friday or tuesday thursday friday maybe or maybe set the weekends off kind of thing you know uh, but no promises there, you know, I don't know currently if I'll be able to do that, but I do want to aim for free videos of the gameplay stuff a week. But the other stuff like, you know, guess the Pokemon by the theme song, or guess the Pokemon game by the theme song, or just general trivia, or just other types of videos I think that's out with the gameplay, like, you know, sphere. Those will be considered bonus uploads, and I will upload them whenever I kind of, like, I feel like I want to upload them. Maybe I might even save them for a little bit when I can upload gameplay-based stuff to fill in the gap between, you know, having a video out and then be able to record to have some extra stuff coming out a little bit after that if you know what i mean but i i don't know just don't expect the bonus uploads a lot all the time it's just that like i'm gonna go ahead and release them when i feel like i'm gonna release them you know the gameplay stuff i still think is gonna be my bread and butter my main thing going forward however i would like to know that i can focus into one series or ip in pokemon in this case uh try something i've been wanting to do for five plus years but never quite um been able to fully do because I never really understood until you know this year with uh, content creation if I really want to take a seriously and grow a channel variety is never going to work unless you're already an established channel if we're being completely honest I had to take a step back and look at it from a viewer's point of view why do I watch certain people yes I like I love like certain people's energy and passion for what they do but in order to have that catalyst to find who they are in the first place you probably didn't well you don't know who they are like their name the channel before you found them first right you probably found them by a common interest if you're a fan of like mario odyssey or um, animal crossing pokemon xenoblade chronicles um you know just you know what i mean if it's a game that you love playing you probably found a, 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 someone who creates content on that because of the common interest you share with that they make content on that game that you love you love consuming content of that game you kind of have to watch so i really had to take a step back as a viewer and be like, all right, why do I watch the channels I watch? Number one, I found them because of the games that I like play and watch and all that stuff. But the second thing as well is, as much as we're passionate for a bunch of, of a variety of games, people are never going to find them if like you don't have a common like, interest to be able to find each other in the first place if you see where I'm going with this. So there are two examples on Twitch, I think once in 2018 and another back in 2021 I think it was where I streamed Mario Kart Deluxe exclusively for about 8-9 to nine months each time and out of all of the time I've been streaming and doing content creation and doing videos and streams I think those two times I did only Mario Kart Deluxe those two times is when I got the most growth out of any platform I've ever been on twice and it's the same game twice Now, you might be thinking well, why don't you just stick with Mario Kart then? You're, well, people who've seen me play Mario Kart before, they know I'm very skilled when it comes to 200cc racing, especially on that game. And the problem with Mario Kart is, uh, the, like, content creation is... How long has it been since we had an original Mario Kart game? Mario Kart Deluxe does not count. That's, not, that's not, like a deluxe version of it. Mario Kart 8 was the last time we got an actual true, like, new Mario Kart, which I think was 2014 or 2013, somewhere in that range. So it's like... It's been literally a decade since we had an actual brand new Mario Kart, which I do believe we're going to get one with the new, with the, with the successor to the Switch coming up, maybe in the next year or two, but there's no guarantee. And you can compare that to Pokemon, right? It's a series I grew up with, right? I, I think I've got a pretty good knowledge on the Pokemon series since it's, it's been something I've been playing it since I was cast since Pokemon Diamond, right? Back in like 2006, and it's now 2024, so I've almost been playing Pokemon for 20 years. Um, but the major thing that I think, the two major things for me that a Pokemon specific channel will help me going forward is one there's always a new main game releasing every single year without fail or DLC expansions but the expansions feels like such a big deal now that they can kind of like hold the weight until a new game over you know what I'm saying like every new every year without fail Pokemon releases either a new game or two expansions to a current game for example uh, last uh, year with uh, Scarlet and Violet was uh, Kami being the Teal Mask and Blueberry Academy for the Indigo Disc, right? But, they, but especially the Indigo Disc felt like a proper big update, and I gotta be honest, the Indigo Disc as well felt like a decent update. 
If not as big as the Blueberry Academy with the Terraria and Terraria was so fun to explore, it genuinely that filled the gap for a new game right there and then I loved it. Uh, but for example, um, what's probably going to happen uh, near the start of next year in January, maybe f just before Pokemon Day in February, is Legend C is going to get announced and November 2025 is going to be the three year mark since Scarlet and Violet release and the pattern for Pokemon games for every new generation is every three years. So piece it together, success to the Switch is coming out next year, Legend Z is releasing very close to the release of the, that console, it's probably going to be a cross generation game where you can get it on both consoles. Generation 10 will probably be an exclusive on the new console, if you can see where I'm going with this. And even when you don't have like new stuff to be able to like, um, cover on the channel, there's so many stuff you can do on the older games and there's so many of the older games too to tap into, you can do Soul Links, Nuzlocke's, uh, challenge runs like you know um oh can i beat like pokemon scarlet only using my star like star or solo runs that kind of thing there's there is a lot of potential for playthroughs and unique challenges that by the time you finish certain series the next brand new game comes along if you know what i mean so it feels like with this series specifically with how often they release stuff and we're not even talking about the spin-off games I know most Pokemon creators don't really like covering the spin-off games, but for me, I'm a massive Mystery Dungeon fan. Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is my all-time favorite Pokemon game, and it still probably will be for years to come. But that game story with a masterpiece. Um, but like, it's just that they release so much stuff all the time, where it just feels like there's just never nothing ever. It doesn't feel like you can run out of stuff to do, genuinely. Uh, it's one of the series. And, and also another thing as well, with it being a super popular like franchise, it's the highest grossing franchise in the world, I believe. It'll, that also definitely helped with the audience base that that series has gotten over the last like, you know, almost 30 years, because I think it debuted in, in 1996, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like, it just makes too much sense. The game I've got knowledge on, I've got a huge, you know, audience base. And again, it, from a career point of view, with how many games have released in all time, it's very hard to not find something to do in it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's about kind of where I stand at the minute. So overall, the TLDR is, transition to Pokemon channel, you guys have an idea what the video side is going to be. I'm still going to do a little bit of variety here, and then I'll sprinkle it in with streams. More so right now, but once I catch up with my backlog of games, it'll be less and less, but it will still, it still will happen for a few specific games that I'm looking forward to the most out every year, for example. The Astrobot release on PS5 looks to be like PlayStation version of Super Mario Odyssey and if you know anything about me, I'm a 3D platforming fanatic. So like, um, <laughs> that's probably going to be my personal game of the year, considering Legend C obviously is releasing for next year, I assume at this point in time. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to do with this video to give you guys an update where I'm at right now. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and either today or tomorrow record a Pokemon, I guess the, po guess the Pokemon game. Some sort of like Pokemon soundtrack, you know, um, like video. I'm going to go ahead and put that out as the first video to release of something. And then soon, sometime this week, I'm recording this on the 15th of July 2024. Um, I'm going to start up the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I've got everything already set in place. If um, we have a look real quick here. Also, I'm very low in the webcam. I've only just noticed that right now. So if we go over to the Pokemon NDS scene, we can already see everything's already set up for the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke where I can enable badges and disable them like so, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool so I can enable all of these or I can turn them all on and off at once kind of thing. So this is all set up and ready to go and this will be like the main series, like the overlay I'm going to use for the series and all that. But um, yeah, you guys have a kind of a clear idea what's going to be happening. So again, with the videos. Actually, you know what? We got. A, so I'm only be recording for 15 minutes raw recording. So let me just quickly get this up and show you the difference. Like, I'm gonna be doing very basic, minimum like edits, just so it allows me to get more episodes out a bit more consistently, and they'll be short in length. So not only will that probably incentivize more people to watch. I know this is a fact, by the way, whether people like commit or not. People's attention span compared to like 10 years ago watching YouTube isn't nearly as good as it used to be. If people see a video over 30 minutes and this is an already established creator, they know they're not going to check out the video more times than not. So having it be shorter videos not only allows me to edit less to be able to get the videos out on a more consistent schedule, but YouTube rewards usually people putting out content on a consistent schedule, like regularly putting them into the algorithm and all that. 
but also the videos are shorter. It keeps people's attention span on the videos a bit better than like a 40 minute video. Like, having a 40 minute video that can be sp spread into like three different parts won't do as well as the three different like 15 minute episodes. Just because they're shorter and more digestible to watch throughout the day. That's just my thinking. If you guys got any like uh, tuning or feedback I should do with that, let me know in the comments or on my Discord server, you know, but that's just my thinking right now, you know. So if I open one of my platinum videos, let's do the one for example for Burnout Paradise Remastered, which was the last video before I switched styles to the Pokemon stuff, right? And if I show you a window of what the edits will look like and how complicated it actually looks, I think you might um, understand where I am kind of coming from. So if we just get this, I know it's a little bit off center, right? But you kind of get the point from the timeline at the bottom, right? Um, yeah, this is the whole video. Do you see how many tracks, how many layers and everything I have to edit on? This video took about two months to make on and off because I was so fatigued with making these long style videos. But there was so much effort to make it genuinely was. You can see just how many goddamn like, you know, 12, 13 different layers, both audio and video, so many cuts, everything has to line up perfectly. It's like, yeah, um, and then obviously the time it takes to plant on the game is also factored into it. So it'll be very, very basic minimum edits that I'm doing, all right? So it won't be nearly as heavy as that. If I ever get to a point where the Pokemon channel is growing, I might consider bringing back occasionally every once in a while, like a playthrough challenge video where I cover an entire playthrough in one video. Uh, and talk about my experience going through it and taking the challenge, for example. Just randomly, can I beat Scarlet and Violet with just my star? Like a solo only run. I still don't know if that would be just beating Gita or trying to do all of Area Zero and getting the proper credits or not when it comes to that. I would need to figure that out any other time. But, you know, I would like still do those longer videos kind of a practice of doing those type of videos with like the voiceover kind of like storytelling and all that kind of stuff. However, it's gonna be a while before I think I want to take on a video like that again. I want to at least get a consistent like community and base of people that I know that will actually appreciate that type of video before I put all that effort into a video like that again for it to be literally for nothing. So again I hope you guys can excuse me going back to more smaller basic videos just so I can get more consistent stuff out so we can actually get something going again. But the last thing is like I said in my last update video I'm not looking for this to have instant success. I'm not looking for me to be a stupidly popular channel. I'm just looking for, like, a, I'm just looking for people to actually care about what I'm doing and to have, like, a fun community where we can do events and stuff. I'm not looking to, like, be a super, super big channel. Just, just a big enough channel to the point where it actually feels like my time has been rewarded for putting out stuff on the channel and doing stream. That's all. I'm not looking for anything ridiculous, like a ridiculous, you know, like, goal. You know, it's little goals at a time. Once we achieve the first goal, then we do the next goal, the next goal after that, you know. But I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from when I say all this. But if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment or join the Discord server and ask me directly. Come my DMs are usually always open. But this is Cube. Say it night. Have a good one. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time with the soundtrack video, which should be coming out in the next couple of days. Have a good one and peace.